Hematite, the Earth Stone. We're discussing Hematite today because of its association to the root chakra and through that association, the Orisha known as Shango. The root chakra itself represents our foundation. On the human body, it sits at the base of the spine and gives us a feeling of being grounded. When the root chakra is open, we feel confident in our ability to withstand challenges and to stand on our own two feet. When it is blocked, we feel threatened, as if we're standing on unstable ground. Its association with hematite comes from the fact that hematite is one of the most abundant minerals on Earth's surface. It is an iron oxide with a chemical composition of Fe2O3 and is a common rock forming mineral. It is one of the most important ores of iron and we can see that being a strong representation of an earth stone. It has been called the mind stone because hematite stimulates concentration and focus, enhancing memory and original thought. And hematite utilizes the magnetic qualities of dual energy as represented by yin yang energies represented in eastern philosophies to balance the meridians within the body and to provide a stable equilibrium between the ethereal nervous system and your physical nervous system the hematite crystal is linked to its ability to absorb toxic emotions holding you back from your natural state of joy and vitality you can use hematite to clear away negative stress anxiety and worry and its greatest ability is to pull any stray negative energy in the aura to the root chakra where it neutralizes its harmful effects by balancing and aligning all seven chakras and this is in simple terms why it is the best root chakra stone now according to legends the hematite crystal was used as a powerful talisman for warriors of North England because they believe it will preserve the blood or life, life essence of a, a fallen soldier wounded in battle. And other cultures have shown in, hem, in hematite ex, an excellence for healing the body because it cleanses the blood and supports good circulation. It has a warm energizing vibe which is great to infuse your own energy centers with newfound strength. Hematite grounds and protects as well as strengthening the will it is in common with many iron minerals it has a masculine energy and its highly reflective quality can be linked to polished armor in the way that it deflects negative energy or ill wishing or ill intent towards the wearer it also possesses a mirror like quality which brings to mind ideas of personal issues and patterns of self-reflection. Because of its high iron content, it has been used as a treatment for anemia and circulatory problems. It clears and realigns the lower chakras, allowing unwanted or unnecessary energy to drain down and out of the body. It also draws off heat and can be useful in the treatment of fevers. Hematitis is regarded as a very protective stone and it's something that's easy to carry with you to stay grounded in situations where your focus is going to be tested. But overall, hematite brings a quality of energy that is powerful, strong, and grounded and has a, an association with the earth that few other stones have. It, it works with one's mind by calming, clearing away necess unnecessary clutter. And most of the hematite that's sold in the world comes from South America, including Brazil, Venezuela, but also in the United States and Canada. Hematite in its associations with the Yoruba through Chakra, and we see clear associations with Northern England and their manifestations of some of their war deities. It's definitely worth exploring more con connections of Hematite, as even in modern days, it's still used as protection stones. Thank you for joining us at Nine World Chronicles as we look at some of the minerals and elements that are linked through, uh, that are linked to humans through mythology and religions. Please be sure to watch some of our other videos and as always we ask that you like and subscribe.